In the last lecture, we learned about the fundamental concepts related to a delegate in C Sharp. Now, in this lecture, let's understand the use of a delegate. Let's go to Visual Studio. And here, in this project, inside this program class, apart from this main method, I'm going to create two more methods. So for that, let's say public. And this method is not going to return anything. I will call it maybe print money. And here, this method is going to take one integer parameter. So maybe I'll say price. And what this method is going to do is it is simply going to log a message in the console. So here let's use console.write10. And in there, let's say price is then let's say dollar. Then I'll specify a placeholder. And here let's use this price parameter. Okay. Now in this way, Let's also go ahead and let's create another method for that. Again, the access modifier should be public. This method is not going to return anything and I'll simply call it print number. This method is also going to take one integer parameter. So let's call it maybe num. And again, all this method is going to do is it is going to log a message in the console saying that number is and then again, I will use this placeholder. And then I will use this num parameter. Now let me create another method. So again, it is not going to return anything. Okay. And I will simply call it print helper. And this method is going to take an integer value. Let's say X. And now what we want is to this print helper method, we want to pass either this method or this method. And this print helper should be responsible for calling that method. So basically here, we want to pass either this method or this method as an argument when we are going to call this print helper method. For example, inside this main method, let me first go ahead and let me instantiate this program class. So I'll call this instance P and then let's use this new keyword and let's call the constructor of this program class. Okay, so here we are instantiating this program class. And then when I say P dot and here we have this print helper method. When I can call this print helper method, let's say I want to pass either this method or this method as the parameter to this print helper method. And along with that method, we also want to pass an integer value because this print helper here is taking one integer value as its parameter. Now remember that when we pass a method as an argument to another method, in that case, that method is called as callback function because that method will be called by that another method to which we are passing it as an argument. In this example, let's say I'm passing this print money as an argument to this print helper method when I'm calling this print helper method. So in that case, this print money is going to be the callback function because this print money will be called by this print helper method. Now in C sharp, we cannot pass a method directly as an argument to another method. For that, we need to use delegates. So here, what I'm going to do is outside of this class, I'm going to create a delegate. For that, we need to use this delegate keyword and the signature of this delegate must match the signature of this print money and this print number. So if you notice both this print money and this print number has the same signature, their return type is void and they are taking one integer parameter. So here, let me create a delegate. I'll call it printdel for print delegate. And here, let's also specify the return type as void. Okay. And this print delegate is going to take one integer parameter. Let me call it X. So here we have created the delegate. And in this example, to this print helper method, we want to pass a method as an argument whose signature matches the signature of this print delegate. All right. So here I'm going to specify another parameter for this print helper. And the type of that parameter is going to be this print del. So it is going to be of type this delegate. And let's call it maybe del. You can name it anything, but I'm simply going to call it del. And now I can pass any one of these two methods as an argument to this print helper method. How? Let's see that. So the first argument which this print helper is expecting is of type integer. So there, let's pass 100. 
and the second argument which this print helper expects is of type print del that means any method which matches the signature of this print del delegate can be passed as an argument to this print helper here both this print money and this print number matches the signature of this print del delegate so here we can pass either one of these two as the argument to this print helper let's first pass print money here so for that this print money is a instance method so for that first we need to use the instance which is p dot print money and again keep in mind that you should not use parenthesis like this because in that case it will call that method here we don't want to call this method and that's it now what will happen is when we are calling this print helper method and when we are passing this hundred and this print money this hundred will be assigned to this x parameter and this print money method that will be assigned to this del parameter so basically here this del parameter is going to point to this print money method this del parameter is going to keep a reference to this print money method so inside this method if i say del and if i use a parenthesis like this internally it is going to call this print money method because here when we are calling this print helper we are assigning this del parameter with the definition of this print money method now if you notice this print money method is also expecting value for this price parameter so for that let's pass the value of this x parameter to this del and that's it now if i go ahead and run this program it should log prices dollar 100 let's see that let me press control f5 and you will see prices dollar 100 so basically using a delegate here we have passed this print money method as an argument to this print helper method we can also pass this print number method as an argument to this print helper method because this print number is also matching the signature of this delegate this print del delegate and this print helper is expecting a method a delegate which can point to any method whose signature matches the signature of this print del delegate so here i can also say p dot print helper and there let's pass a number maybe 120 okay so this 120 will be assigned to this variable x this parameter x and then i can also pass this print number as an argument to this print helper so if I say p dot print number, we should not get any errors. So now when I'm calling this print helper for the second time, there I'm passing this print number method as an argument to this print helper. And this is possible because this print helper here is expecting a variable, a parameter of type print del delegate. And since the signature of this print del delegate matches the signature of this print number we can pass this print number as an argument which can be assigned to this del parameter all right now if i go ahead and run this program for the second call what will happen is 120 will be assigned to this variable x and from within this method we are calling this del now for the second call this del is pointing to this print number method so internally this print number method will be executed and it will log number is and then the value of this x parameter let's see that let's run this program for that again i will press ctrl f5 and now you will see number is 120. so this is how we can pass a method as an argument to another method using a delegate and in the same way we can also return a method from another method let's understand this with an example let's go ahead and let's create another method say public void and let's call this method as print and this method let's say is going to take a string parameter let's call it message and from within this function we are simply going to log a message in the console saying that maybe hello from c sharp okay a simple method now what we want is we want to create a method and from that method we want to return this print method for that 
let's first go ahead and let's create a delegate so to create a delegate we use delegate keyword and then we need to create a delegate whose signature matches the signature of this delegate so here the return type is going to be void let's call this delegate maybe let's simply call it return del okay you can call it anything but i can't think of any meaningful delegate name right now so i will simply call it return del okay and here this method this print method is taking a string parameter so here let's specify that this delegate is also going to take a string parameter and let's call it maybe message so here we have created a delegate now we want to create a method which can return this print method all right so here let's go ahead and let's create a method now the return type of this method should be return del because from this method the method which we are going to create we want to return this print method okay so here the return type of this method should be return del okay let's give it a name let's call it maybe demo okay and from within this method let's simply return this print method so for that let's first go or let me make this method as static okay so here let's say return print so here from within this demo method we are returning this print method basically this method and this is possible because here we have specified the return type as return del that means from within this method we can return any method which matches the signature of this return del delegate if you see this print method has the same signature which we have for this return del delegate the return type is void and it is taking a string parameter and we have the same signature for this print method so any method whose signature matches the signature of this return del delegate can be returned from this demo method and that's what we are doing here now let's go ahead and let's call this demo method so here when i say p dot demo it is going to return us a method and we can go ahead and we can assign that method to a variable now what will be the type of that variable if you see this method is returning a value of type return del so here the type of the variable should be return del okay now let's simply call it r so now what is happening is to this variable r we are basically assigning the definition of this print method so now when we go ahead and on this r when we use a set of parentheses it is going to call this print method now this print method is also taking a string parameter so let's pass the value for that parameter and here let's say c sharp delegate example okay a simple message with this let's save the changes and let's run this program for that i will press control 5 on the keyboard and here you can see it says hello from c sharp so here basically we are returning a method from within another method and for this print helper method we are passing a method as an argument to this print helper method so i hope with these two examples now you know what is the actual use of delegate in c sharp basically delegates in c sharp help us pass a method as an argument to another method and also it helps us in returning a method from within another method this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day